Good afternoon, Madden 25 gamers. In today's episode of Scheme of the Week, we're in the 46 defensive playbook. This is part two of our 3 through 5 defensive scheme. In today's video, we're going to focus on how to play man to man defense from the big nickel formation. The play we're going to focus on um, is going to be the cover to man. We like to do with this play, uh, we like to base a line, and we like to crash our defensive line to the left, as that is the main setup for every single thing we like to do. Okay, the next thing we like to do with this is we like to decide where we're going to send some heavy pressure out. So we're going to send it off the right, off the left. So what we like to do is we like to put uh, Burnett here. We're just going to put him in a standard um, purple zone. All right, then we're going to take this safety here, Branch, put him in a purple zone as well. When you put Branch in a purple zone, he's going to come down, creating the same basic look. And then this way, Woodson will now go back to his spot as well, hopefully. If he doesn't, you just need to, you know, manually do that. Or if he does, say he stays out here, it's not that big of a deal. Just shade him to the right. Okay, and this is gonna allow really an easy, pre an easy, easy, easy concept to to work with here. Uh, what we like to do is we like to man up Walker on the running back. If the running back stays in a block, Walker will blitz. If the running back, or excuse me, if the Walker. Excuse me. If Jennings goes out on a route, Walker will follow him. If he does not go on a route, Walker will play like a quarterback spy. And then we're just going to use our control Roach. Be sure to leave Roach in the uh, man assignment on the running back, but just know that you're going to use or control him as if you were in a hook zone. All right. At the center of the ball, you see we get you know we're not going to get the best pressure. This is just mainly a man-to-man -man maximum coverage defense. You're going to be user controlling the middle of the field, which is really the only place where this man coverage is going to be weak. Um, so just know that you're going to get some block shed pressure. The whole idea here is to just continue to stay really simple in your setups and also maintain decent coverage. This is going to be used in those short yard situations on second down where they could potentially try to hit us deep with a, with a max, uh, with, a, with, a, with a heavy uh, passing play here. Uh, the main idea is to keep everything in front of us. If they don't have a running back on the play, what I recommend doing is just putting Walker in a quarterback spy. Sometimes they don't have a running back, five line, five wide receiver sets, and then you know you're just gonna, then it's just going to look like this, and it's still the same basic look. It's just a, it's just that the spy is not going to play as effective as it would if it was a manned up assignment on the running back. Shout out to Zan over at Forward Progress Madden. Please sure, please be sure to go check him out. He has some great tournament level tips over there on how to stop uh, some of the glitchier plays in Madden NFL 25. That's going to wrap up our base man to man coverage video. Remember, we like to use this in and second down in short situations in combination with our base zone coverage, which we're going to teach you guys how to use it tomorrow. This is probably one of the be best zone coverages uh, we're going to talk about tomorrow in the game, the, man er, the Nickel Bear uh, maximum zone coverage. Be sure to come back for that, and thank you guys so much for watching, and be sure to have a wonderful day.